This video provides an overview of the Neural Tools ribbon. Then other videos in the Guided Tour series describe the functionality of specific parts of the ribbon in more detail. The data group contains only one button, the Dataset Manager button. You use this to specify a dataset to be analyzed and to specify the roles of the variables, such as dependent category, independent numeric, and others. This is the first step in all Neural Tools analyses. The Neural Nets group contains three buttons for training, testing, and predicting. You use these to provide options on how the Neural Net algorithm should be run. In many cases, you need only the Train button. This trains a neural net according to options you specify, and if the data is partitioned into training, testing, and possibly prediction cases, this also tests and predicts. However, the Test button can then be used to test an already trained neural net on new test data, where the values of the dependent variable are known. In the same way, the Predict button can be used to predict values of a new prediction data set where the values of the dependent variable are not known. The Help group contains the usual Utilities and Help dropdown lists. Specifically, you use the Utilities dropdown to get to application settings for Neural Tools as a whole. And you can also use it to unload Neural Tools or load other Decision Tools add-ins. Its other options allow you to manage your neural nets, to specify options for dealing with missing data, and to test the sensitivity of the results to the size and composition of the test data set used, if relevant. The Help drop-down list is self-explanatory. It includes a number of options for learning neural tools better, including many example spreadsheets. You can also open the Welcome screen from the Help drop-down, and this provides links to instructional videos, such as the one you are seeing right now.